we'll see Flash Tyrants going in with a dominating 2-0 clean sweep. Who knows? Perhaps Your just who knows. They are still the Tyrants they are. And you can see the Edge Sion already banning out Hellcut. And uh, those are very standard ones. Standard ban. Standard ban so Not far. We'll be... We, we might be seeing Hayabusa Brock being forced out right here. Hayabusa gets forced action. out. And there you go, the poison that you <laughs> that you talked about. It's either Grok or something else. Like the Martis. Mm, Grok, Selena. Mm, Selena. Selena could be a, a Martis perhaps, just in case you know you want to give uh, Flash Tyrants the advantage of having the Ashura King. Um, but we have to see this last pick. Again, Aerys has oh, the benefit the of that. Oh, the Bane Bane. That's good. This means Martis? No, or Grom. Grom. Definitely yes, Grom. Right. And um, it looks like Aerys Saiyan will have Selena and somebody to choose Martis. Martis. Martis, Martis. Yep, maybe Martis. Martis, but, but Rush does like uh, Cho as well. Cho as well, Cho, correct. Aerys Saiyan plays a really great Cho. Mm -hmm. But yet again, Diggy is still open <laughs> for Flash Tyrants to pick. I mean, Diggy is a problem mm. for Aerys Saiyan right now. The <laughs> There you go, the show. We picked out really accurate prediction by Emma Doom. Let's go. But just <laughs> joking, jokes aside, Lancelot was uh, a shame. Oh yeah. my god, I can't stop uh, about this. Natalia fan. is also open. A lot of assassins are open here. You have Gushin as well to uh, choose if you want to be a poor assassin. Uh, and looks like they're gonna lock down onto, or they're gonna hover onto Diggy first, not lock down, and they're gonna lock down to Diggy and the Kagura. So they kind of give that warning signal. And you did talk about it before. You said that the Diggy last pick was a better pick comparing to put, put him compared in. to pick yep. earlier. So Correct. now Asia Sign might not go for the Akai. Yes. Um, but here's the thing: they can mix things up and try to make that Diggy a bit balance it up a bit, yeah. maybe a little bit aggressive, less not more defensive. Yeah. Correct. And it looks like they're gonna go in with the hovering of high loss and Lancelot. I love the high loss pickup, Ooh. but the Lancelot isn't. And it looks like they're gonna go for the primary. The Harley, the Harley from Rush. The Harley from Rush. He's picking. known for playing mid lane. He's great at all the heroes, but he's really famous for playing Harley. And at, one of my favorite yep. champions as well. Correct. And Harley is also known as the Mage Marksman. So Mage if one. you don't have a Marksman, this is like a hybrid. Marksman in the early to mid games is very very damaging is here. So it looks like Flash Tyrants will go in with their final two picks. I feel like they still they need to get their marksmen uh, sorry, assassins or at least the damage dealers here. See my marksman, my marksman charm is I'll going go on to, to you and the marksman meta. Marksman meta. Very triggering over here. That's good. Oh, and it looks like it won't be a marksman, but it will be an Aurora with Lancelot. So they have dual mages line up here. And one primary assassin for Lancelot itself. So not not too much of a tanky composition except Grok. Flash Tyrants will be going for the aggressive play. Flicker freeze into corners destroy. Yeah. So strong. And and we do see a lot of teams like to do this and especially Flash Tyrants, because we don't see a lot of teams um, pick Aurora because it's not very popular but a lot of different teams that like to innovate just like Flash Tyrants Correct. will be picking up the Aurora for themselves in terms of uh, Azure Sign as well they do have the Selena yet again with the long range start um, it was actually Martis Martis was last pick as well yes as yeah. well as the Martis that is <laughs> actually extremely strong as a fighter so yep. yet the fighter meta is also real interesting enough that Martis has to be the last pick here so we're gonna see how uh, Flash Tyrants will counter react to this using air just like lineup. But then, this is the moment of truth. Predictions, Ido. Go ahead. <laughs> you have to go first before me. Air Asia Zion. Air Asia Zion. I kind of like their... I don't want to explain anymore. Okay, Asia I kinda Zion. Like, okay, I'll tell you what this is. I kind of like their lineup. They have a lot of initiation coming in, but they're just calling for Doom. They already know that DD has been chosen already. Why go for the Martis? Martis will get cancelled. At the same time, you have Chow as well get picked literally just cancelled out as well so it's gonna be tough i'm gonna give my bet on to team flash tyrants here i do have to disagree though as your cyan they are picking a composition they that that they are really comfortable with Con comfortable yes comfortable right the same thing as game one but hey i might be wrong uh, i'm gonna <laughs> prove you wrong now i mean as your is gonna prove you wrong whoa 30 seconds into the game a little bit of aggression already by swan and you can see that uh, the matchups coming in from the bottom lane. Grok will be matching up against Martin. Perhaps High Loss will join in the fray. Uh, alongside in the mid lane, Digi perhaps will be going to the bottom after helping out Kagura with the. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the Slayer buff where it increases the attack. High Loss, as mentioned, will join 
uh, Martis downwards alongside with uh, Harley in the mid lane against Kagura. And the top lane, uh, Aurora and Lancelot will go face to face with Chao and Selena. We do see a, a little bit of proxy going up and more action on the bottom side of the map. Martis will want to get Swan, but there's backup coming in from Diggy. And Diggy will come yes. in, but then where's the follow up? The top lane, however, Flash Tyrants, they will lose a member towards Air Age of Cyan. It looks like Solo's getting the kill onto Sien at the top lane. Very interesting progression coming in from Air Age of Cyan. They get the early kill for their confidence booster. At the bottom lane, there is just much more poking coming in from both sides. We do see that Turtle will be spawned out right here in 20 seconds. And Air Age of Cyan having the early kill lead might translate into a Turtle kill really, really soon. Flash Tyrants, two minutes in, not doing so hard because of the Selena. Selena pressure coming in along with the Cho and Try Harley. Three men soon. coming onto the top lane. It looks like three men indeed, but then they're just gonna fall back oh. as first tyrants will get the kill with Diggy onto Selena. They made a mistake as your Sion got caught off guard and two minutes in Flash Tyrant even in up the scores already. Even the scores are the same thing, but it feels like Flash Tyrants, they have that momentum. They, I, I kind of feel their aura coming in as Turtle will be contested. Grip packs again, getting caught off guard. Pajahai will be using the Asura King, Martyrs on that wow. Mortal Core and trying to wait for the Decimate. But then Diggy's ultimate will pop out. The Turtle will be stolen. Was he still over Flash Tyrants and Tyrants? They're going to go in ahead. Swan is going to get the revenge kill. On to Kagura. And it looks like another kill coming in from Selena's side. Air Asia Science, they are going to go super Saiyan. They want to win. But then Grok killing members again. Making it an even trade for both sides. That was just back and forth right there. Two for two exchange. Air Asia Science did get the turtle for themselves. Getting a hit. I'm not really getting a hit, you know, evening out of the, the gold advantage so far, Edge of Science really want to fly high. They don't want Flash Tyrants to dominate them it's just so much as, as happened in the first game. And my goodness, are they trying to perform hard in this game? The two kills trade is much more worth it for Edge of Science because they are able to get the turtle, like you did mention, but then Rush, a lot of problem in here. Wow, an instant shutdown by Swan using his skills. There's no way that uh, Rush could run from there that with a great timing. Charge. That wild charge coming in from Swan, so much damage coming in. Greepax getting the reverse time, getting the freeze. Coming in backside, Obi as well, and trying to run away with the glorious power. He gets the stun, will be able to run away. Greepax with the escape. But Greepax with the escape, he's unable to cover for Selena. Selena wanted to continue on to at least do some damage, but then there isn't enough time. Not in a time indeed. Asia Zion is in a ticking time bomb right now. Lancelot will be, you know, Lancelot and Kagura is really strong in the game yep. because they do so much damage late in the game with area effects. So they have to stop them right here. Rush having the single target damage will be helping out. There you oh, go. Oh no, Eon. You have to be careful. The Ring of Flames is there oh though. Oh. Unfortunately, Channel it's a little too late. The soon. HP was really, really low already. And Air Jusayan will cut back and equalize the kill. And Turtle right there is spawned at the right time. Air Jusayan is positioning well to take the Turtle. And let's see whether they are able to take it. <laughs> oh, looks like the start of the Turtle will go in with Flash Tyrant. The top side as Sorry, well. Sorry, it was Air Jusayan over here. It looks like nobody's going to contest for that. Meanwhile, Benjahat at the top lane. I think he's a little bit too over aggressive and he will fall back. But then a turtle for a hero, I think it's a fair trade. A little bit of a sacrifice, Panjahat dying on the top side of the map, but gets the turtle for themselves. They're still trying to catch up in terms of go on stage. So that turtle is needed against Flash Tyrant. So they have the single target damage. They have to do all these pickups, but instead Flash Tyrants are doing it against them on the top side of the map. So they did not get a kill per se, but Asia Cyan focusing on the objectives really well. Objectives indeed. And uh, looking at the charts here, Flash Tyrants did manage to take down one turret. Nothing much significant. The first tier turrets are very, very easy to be destroyed. It just opens up a bit of a breathing space. But then Air Asia Cyan, they oh. need to get the buff. As looks like Kingdom has come over here with the ice. Unfortunately, the Logan, 
Yeah, you know, it's kind of like, you know, the immortality, sorry, the, Im- the immunity was there and it did not affect Logan even a single bit. And right now, we do see Azure Cyan is head to neck in terms of the goal advantage. Oh, but more kills on the top side of the map. We, unfortunately, we did not see that. Harley trying to get away from the Gronk Rush is indeed a great match and we do see some backup coming in. Selena gets the stun. Oh, look at the ring of flames comes in. Can Grok survive this? And I don't... Yeah, he still survives it over here. As the rest of Flash Tyrants will go in for the counter attack. No. Diggy killing off Selena. Maybe more perhaps. Lancelot, he should have follow up with that. If maybe perhaps the cooldown skills is viable. The backup was quick from Azure Sign, but even quicker from Flash Tyrants living up to the name. They come in with a flash and oh! Oh my goodness, look at that Aurora running away with the slit of health. The fight just continues on for Flash Tyrants and of course Air Asian Science. I was about to go get a fast slit over here, but then no worries on that. Looking at the situation, Logan is in a lot of trouble with the rest of the members of Team Air Asia Science. Flash Tyrants, they are very aggressively pushing into the behind the enemy lanes here. Swan is able to go a lot of distraction and that's about it. That stopped the war. Asia Cyan trying to stall as much as possible. Rush will be on the top lane, will be getting the tower for himself, but they did lose the bottom turret to Flash Tyrants. This is not great in terms of the objective gameplay right here. They are focusing on the objective, but they seem to be unable to hold on against a, uh, Flash Tyrants right here because they are so aggressive with the Aurora ulti, with the Kona's Destroy, with the Freeze already ready to go. It's two teams that actually kind of show their aggression. The only downside is Air Asia Cyan aggression is not as impactful compared to Flash Tyrants. So Flash Tyrants right now, they're just riding the driver's seat, but it's just neck to neck. However, a little bit of difference comes into play. We do see that Cho has his Athena shield and the wizard boots already for himself. Will be having a little bit of a tankiness to go into the fights and catch out Flash Tyrants. But will they be able to catch out Flash Tyrants though? They are on the bottom side of the lane right here. We, we don't see Lord around here, but it seems like Edge of Cyan is trying to catch out somebody right now. And will Kagura be the target? Oh, Kagura looks like she will oh. be the target. She will be teleporting back before Aurora killing off somebody over there. But Martis and the rest of the members of Edge of will kill off Kagura. Meanwhile, the top lane, they will go in for one kill and two, one turret at least. And might go for the second one. This is the final turret at the top lane. My oh my, they're gonna fall back. A great catch by Edge of Cyan, but now the tower film themselves is not great for them because the objective gameplay is strong and the aggression as well from Flash Tyrant is really good. Edge of Cyan losing out in terms of the kills, losing in terms of the gold advantage ever so slightly, but most importantly, the towers. Because the towers means dominance all over the map. Flash Tyrant's controlling the game so far. And Oracle has been obtained by Swan's Grog, making him a lot tankier this time around, especially adding into the MP status. But then the war comes in. Logan, he's going to run away. He's going to be protected by the rest of his team members. Oh. Unfortunately, his team members will have to suffer the consequences. Diggy will get the kill onto one of the members of Air Design. And Air Design, they have to run away into safety. No way. No way at all they can save this turret. Oh. oh, look at that. Harley unfortunately getting caught off guard there. My favorite hero being slain <laughs> in a professional game. What Sorry, a though. sad sight to see. But my goodness, Azure Cyan losing out the edge nine minutes in. And Flash Tyrant is looking already to close the game. They are still on it. The aggression is there. And the coldness comes true here with the help of. Uh, Aurora and now Kagura will secure the kill. The rest of the members of Flash Tyrants, they're just gonna farm into the opponent's base. Diggy's ulti did connect over here to cancel any BS from Chow. The rest of the members, Selena, wanted to join the fray, but then it's just a little too late. Everyone is just dispersed. They just killed one member, they stole the farm, and they just run away. Flash Tyrants were a little bit aggressive. All on the Asian Science jungle right there because they know that Lord was there so they were a little bit careful and they have to back away if they lose that fight right there could translate into a lot for Asian Science and they already have the edge and they will not lose it they are playing a little bit cautiously right now KBC and even though Orbi using the Aurora he's level 9 he's pretty under farm compared to everyone uh, of course according to Gripax but he's still holding his ground he's still oh. assisting in here but then Swan he's gonna use his ulti did not connect to anyone Ring of Flames as well no effect whatsoever 
My goodness, edge that old abyssal arrow lands, but it does not get the stun. And what's going on right here? Oh, wow. here comes the team fight. Kina comes again with the ice coldness here. Kagura killing off uh, high loss in this process as Lancelot comes in with the kill. Selena getting the trigger before burning down. Sorry, getting caught, shut down by Aurora and Martis running for his dear life. Four members there, no way. There's no way he's able to run away from there, leaving only Harley alive. Air Asia Science struggling to find an opening for the team fight. It is because, yet again, it's because of the Diggy with the time bomb. With the reverse time, just makes it so hard for an opening to come in for Air Asia Science. And they just get reverse situations over reverse situations every time. Just makes it really hard for them. I want to point out that Swan's wall also disrupts the team fight. Like, it kind of segregate the first member who get uh, shut down first. Uh, the rest of the members are actually behind the wall, so there was no backup already for whatsoever. That's right, that's right. So great play by him. Let's by check way. out the item. Selena having the winter turgeon for himself, uh, for herself already. This is very important for Selena because if she's ever getting caught out, if she's ever getting caught out, Selena will be able to be in the defensive position. Oh, Solos! Oh, Solos is able to be saved by Harley as Harley gets the better of the Flash Tyrant member over here. I did not get see the kill from him because of the kill cap. But then here comes the aggression from Air Jusai. And they know that this is a loophole that they should be taking onwards. But then the rest of the members of Flash Tyrant, they are smart. They know when to back out. They know when to stop pushing for walls. The disengage is so Our good by Flash Tyrant. And I do think they are only they, they are the only team that able that is able to work well with Diggy and more oh, coming no, in. Oh Martis. <laughs> Fighting for his dear life, unfortunately, a lot of spells has been dis uh, has been done onto the Ashura King. He has no choice but to sleep. And now you can see the air just suddenly losing turrets after turrets, and this is not looking good. They are trying to push and they are trying to focus on the objective, but more action coming in. Rush tries to get away from Swan, and Swan will not take that deadly magic for himself. He doesn't have any follow up, but then this is the follow up that they need. Oh. Flash Tyrants comes in again. Lancelot killing of Selina with the help of four members and this spells for the Lord. The Lord is here. The Winter Turgeon was not enough for Selina to survive the game. Swan is still trying to zone them out. The fight is so strong coming in from Flash Tyrants. And it looks like it's going to be a bait over here. Logan is going to suffer a lot of damage here as Lancelot comes in with the kill. And Lancelot, he just cancel out Ring of Flame using his second skill. The Thorn Roses. Wow, wow, so good. The invulnerability helps because Lancelot will not take the final damage coming in from Harley with the Deadly Magic and Pokedrick combo. That was so well-timed by Lancelot. Xian, great player. And uh, you know, Xian was, uh, was reminding me of one situation where I was hosting a 1 versus 1 battle. Leslie was finals, was having a final shot onto an ulti and Lancelot just uses Torn Tarn Roses. Rose. GG! <laughs> no problem. Cancel I, off. I have the Thorn Rose and you have the losses. And Shen right here engaging the lot for himself. He wants to engage, but he knows somebody's camping over there. Greed packs. Meanwhile, he's gonna get caught. And he is gonna get a lot of damage. Air just decided they need to follow out right here. They need to save the teammate. Greed packs here. He's gonna get harassed down by Swan Swan. Also has to be careful. He knows that he's not tanky yet. But then the bottom lane. My oh my. Martis. Oh, he's gonna fall back. He's gonna fall back right there. The disengage is so great. And the dig it ultimate. Just perfect timing. And Time and time after again, this could be a pun right Time and time after again, the reverse time and the time bomb is just so much of a big problem for Azure Science. They are missing the flight right now. They are missing the game because of this disengages. Flash Tyrants just know what they're doing. And it's the lane control that plays into the actual role. As you can see, fight does come out here. Diggy Pop is ulti a little bit too quick, perhaps trying to uh, you know, disengage Cho from that wall or starting the in, uh, initiator from there. But then again, looking at this, Flash Tyrants are very, very, making things very annoying for Air Asia That's right. I mean, Logan as the Cho finds it really hard to engage along with Repacks as well. The Glorious Pathway are mostly used to engage, but the Diggy, <laughs> my god. Cancel we it. Have to re we have to talk about it again again. Because if you the glorious pathway slows them down, but Diggy's ultimate cancels all of that, so it just nullifies. 
everything. Everything. Yep. Especially the glorious pathway. So having Albi with the freeze and coldness destroy coming in from the back is just com coming just coming in too strong. They have a really great crowd control deny coming in and Greepax getting caught yet again by the reverse oh, line. Oh no, Greepax again, coldness comes in. <laughs> Oh, winter has come, but then Greepax is able to run away. And now, Sien, he's down to the slit of hell. He will survive from the Ring of Flames over here. But then Swan has been the annoyance of this Our team against here. And oh, Benjahat. Bottom lane, he's pushing. That's right. He's the actually pushing arrows, something. However, the Selena arrows, the Abyssal arrows, does not work as well. It's in, in case it, oh, there you go. Oh my goodness. Selena is able to take down Diggy over here. A quick kill. And Jeez. Selena will run away, will flicker away from this swan. He wanted to use his ultimate here, but did not connect to Selena. And my goodness, what a play by flash tyrant so far 18 to 8 4.7 to 4.3 still doing really well from themselves air asia science struggling to build their own wings back and they will try their best to get onto flash tyrants but how will they do that well they're doing it right they have martis split pushing the lane backstabbing from time to time they're also trying to be an annoyance annoyance as themselves here comparing to team flash tyrants but team, team flash tyrants they have to be careful. They know that this is not the game that they should lose. They will have to continue on as the fight will struck in. Flash Tyrants will suffer the ultimate from Grok and then many more. Logan being pulled back here as Selena from Team Energy Science able to kill here. As you can see, Martis, he will be going up here and helping out with the team. Backstab with a double kill oh, nice. onto Aurora and that's a lot over here. Oh man, the fight being won by Azure Sion. The wigs are being built right now. And my goodness, Kagura is alone. And Azure Sion going for the tower right now. Could this be a win for Azure Sion? Oh my goodness, KBC, what's going on? They are doing things right now. They oh! are able to get that wipe out. My, oh my, Air Asia Science are back into the game. And we have to give them a lot of credit. They were doing the split pushes well. What? Martis was on time with the uh, team fights in the mid lane. He's able to backstab them behind enemy lines. Not only getting one kill, but two kills and leading to more deaths of Flash Tyrants. No time of recovery for coming back for the protection of a the A huge, huge, huge turnaround by Azure Zion. My goodness, how did they even lose? I mean, how did Flash try and lose out the game? They were ahead in kills. There's no telling you're the right girl. So I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah, I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah, I can only say that it feels right. Yeah,